Hello, welcome back to the bus. Uh, you know, everybody does this a little bit differently, hanging their uh, cabinets that are going to go in the kitchen, uh, you know, getting something that, that matches the curve seems a little bit difficult, but uh, once you have a template, it's not so bad. I'm in the process of hanging my uh, cabinets. Uh, I've seen a bunch of ways that a bunch of other people did it. I'm not saying that my way is the best way or the right way, but I'm pretty confident that it's going to work. Uh, basically, off of my local community's Buy Nothing project, I found somebody that was giving away a whole bunch of these things, these little L bracket things. So even before I had the bus, I contacted that person. I got a whole bag of them for free. I think that this is the project that they were destined for. Uh, so as you can see over here, I've got one little L bracket that is connected to the steel beam of the roof or of the, uh, of the ceiling, ribs of the bus. And it is pretty much flush with the end of this piece of wood. And I'm going to be doing, grabbing a bunch of these and kind of putting them down the side here. So they will go all the way to the other end where I've already got a couple of them started. Then I cut these templates, which look like this, that are going to fit right up here. So these aren't actually the templates. These are the actual boards that I'm going to be using. And uh, because there are four ribs of the bus, I figured it would be very sturdy to have it attached at this end, that end, and the two ribs in between. One of the tools that I'm gonna be using is this uh, right angle piece of metal. It's actually a ruler made for creating 90 degree angles. Since you can't use a level very easily in the bus, I'm going to be doing everything off of the bus ribs and the structures that are already in here. So I'm going to be using this thing. I can't really show you as I'm doing it because it takes multiple hands, but uh, holding it up against here and then it will be used as my guide to make sure that all of my pieces are straight and that they'll line up well. Okay, well the first one is in and it's held in by two screws right now. I've got the one up there, one over there. Probably looking at that big gap and freaking out, but I actually kind of want that gap. Um, part of the reason why is because I don't have my ceiling in yet. And uh, rather than putting the ceiling in and trying to cut my templates to the right shape, my intention was that I would take the ceiling slats and they would just kind of rest in there. Um, obviously not just resting in there. They're going to be glued in with adhesive when they get jammed into this spot. But uh, they'll basically be... Um, the, the curve of this thing is actually going to be helping to hold them into place. So that is why I want the gap and I'm not too concerned about you know, how, how neatly it fits in this space. Um, that said, the cut is pretty good, and I think that if uh, we were just going with the shape of the bus rib, that it would probably fit it um, pretty accurately. But this is all loosey-goosey stuff, so it uh, warbles and looks a little bit off. But it's not. It's intentional. All right, if you've been watching my channel, I think it's pretty obvious that if I have an opportunity to go overkill, I usually go overkill. Uh, so this is pretty overkill, um, but that thing's not coming down. It is solid. And it looks pretty on the other side. It'll look prettier when it's painted. But uh, yeah, that's one down. Three more to go. Okay, so the far side is in. Got the other side in. And then in the middle, we've got um, both of these pieces that are cut pretty rough, but just dangling there. Uh, and a 
I've got to install them next. Um, this takes a long time doing the metal brackets, but the results are, are really sturdy and I, I like it a lot, so happy with it. Okay, all four are mounted in. These ones need some more supports in them, so I'm going to do that now. But uh, that's basically how the cabinets hang. Okay, all four of the walls of the cabinets are built in. Jolene's ready with the glue. And I got this uh, one by one that's going to go right in here. Oh. Like that. And keep this nice and square. Okay, so this front beam is added on. And I put some brackets on here just because it was a little bit loose the way that I was thinking of doing it, and now it's it's pretty solid. So we've got bracket on there, bracket on there, holding that side in, as well as adhesive. And over here, we've got uh, the other side, which just has a screw in it directly in, which is gonna be covered up by the other beam that's gonna go in here, and then a matching bracket on the top, just to keep it from wiggling around some more. It's pretty solid. Super strong. It's not going anywhere. I know I say that all the time. That should be my catchphrase. <laughs> all right, with the help of Juline, I have finished the structure of these cabinets. So they're in here nice and tight. And I measured pretty much all across the front and everything is like perfectly square like could not be more perfect so um, just lots and lots of measuring and being careful We've got a couple of ugly spots but they're gonna be covered up by the front face when we put that in so yeah looking good <laughs> 